Hey, my Love Island Australia fans, we got another episode to talk about. Yes, Phoebe is in tears when Mitchell says he's open to getting to know the bombshell. Jessica and Connor have a raging fight. And Maddie makes a bold decision when she chooses who she wants to couple up with. Welcome back to Romance Review TV with Lady T. I got another recap for you guys. Love Island, Australia, season four, episode number six. And without any further ado, let's talk about what happened this episode. So let's talk about Mitchell, Maddie, and Phoebe. So as the bombshell Miss Maddie arrives in the villa, she makes it perfectly clear that she is happy to get to know Mitchell. The same Mitchell who has been getting close to Phoebe since the beginning of the show. Now, after pulling him for a chat, Maddie asks Mitchell if he'd be mad if she chooses him during a recoupling ceremony. And this is what he had to say. Check it out. We could. Like, I'm really happy with her. I actually really am. But, like, we got together, like, literally the first day. Mm. You know, and, like... You didn't get a chance to, like, explore your options, no, I suppose. I didn't. Yeah, I, um, so Mitchell said he is open to anything. Well, how is this going to go down? Well... Later on, Mitchell have a conversation with Phoebe, relaying the information, and of course, with no surprise, she didn't take it too well. Check it out. Being hurt, I hate feeling like you're not like wanted. Like this is the worst feeling, like second best, like all the time. Yeah, and then she turn around, she goes speak to the girls, and she burst into tears as she reveals what Mitchell told her. And she says, this always happens to her. Everyone always leave me for somebody else. And yeah, it was a very, very heartbreaking moment, to say the least, you know, especially since they've been so solid since the beginning of all of this. And for now, him to say, you know what, I've never had the opportunity, nobody come out and speak for me. Now Maddie's interested in him. And now he's kind of looking to, you know, possibly turn his head. So, yeah, she's she's hurt. She hates being hurt, not feeling like she wanted. And, of course, she feels that is the worst thing ever to be second best all the time. Now, speaking of another new couple, Austin and Claudia are doing exceptionally well. Austin set up this whole little picnic where he can get his first kiss in. And... Claudia is pretty much over the moon, excited by this. She was like, oh my God, he's such a nice boy. He's such a sweet boy. And finally, Austin gets his kiss. And the way he turned down Maddie the bombshell, who actually came after him, yeah, looked like Austin is all in on Claudia. Now, they also had a Poles Apart challenge. And in this challenge, they had to get the critique of the super fans and then do this whole thing, whoever was closest to their percentage, the team win, boys versus girls, because it got kind of sticky when it came to Phoebe and Mitchell because they have been the hottest parent couple in the villa, whereas the super fans said that the chances of them being boyfriend and girlfriend is at 30%. And then this causes the girls to have this little bit of sidebar conversation. Check it out. I feel like he said stuff. He must have said he something. He must have said something. She wouldn't have. No, no way. She no. sneezed He said something. And now he's. Yeah, and he knows it. Oh, he's oh shit. Oh, listen, the only thing that we did see is the conversation between him and Maddie, but really, Mitchell and Phoebe haven't gotten a lot of airtime over the past five episodes. So, unless they're referring to that, ladies, we really didn't see too much of anything except the little conversation from episode number five. So, there's a little bit of tension that's happening between Jessica and Connor. And we know they haven't had the smoothest romantic journey so far, but things got a little bit too much for the two of them in this particular episode. Because while they were laying in bed, Connor asked Jessica if she thinks that the two of them could win the entire show. And it was this line of questioning that made her think that he got some type of game plan. 
She's talking about how Connor keeps making comments about strategy and game plan. When he says stuff like that, it makes me think that he's not genuine. And he said that's the opposite. But she was so pissed off. She got up and left. I mean, Jessica was like, it's obvious that he don't like her. He just want to win and storms out of bed. Honestly, Jessica, you were talking to two whole dudes. You were interested in two whole dudes. You were pissed that neither of those guys wanted to choose you at the last recoupling. But you're mad to saying he's not genuine. And let me give you a little bit of a tidbit that was talked about about what Love Island is all about. Take a listen, Jessica. Love Island is more than just about finding a partner. It's about impressing the public to become the nation's favorite couple and win $50,000. So, uh, Jessica, you know what you signed up for. Uh, I guarantee you, if you did win the show, you wouldn't give the $50,000 back if you truly say that that's not what this show is all about. Anywho, I honestly think Connor is sold into Jessica. I mean, he so much so came in with all of the confidence in the world, and now he's calling himself stupid. And he's apologizing every single time and walking on eggshells for you. So I don't know, Jessica, maybe you need to look at what's going on with you versus, you know, I'm not saying he's an angel, but at the same time, you got a little bit of stuff in your wheelhouse that you need to work through while you're pushing him that he needs to put in work as well. And honestly, I would prefer a guy who has a strategy and a plan for us to play as a team, not only in love, but also to get some money. Why not? So let's talk about this recoupling choice that sends shockwaves through the villa. It's Maddie's turn. So Maddie is given the power to steal one of the boys from their current partner to couple up with. Now, despite getting to know a number of the boys in the villa, knowing that Mitchell is happy with Phoebe, she makes the bold move to choose him anyway which, of course, leaves Phoebe single and vulnerable. And she went on to say that I would like to couple up with this boy because I really like his vibe and his energy. And from the conversations we've had, I think we are compatible and I like to explore the connection a little bit further. And she had this big old smile on her face before, of course, revealing her choice that she wanted to couple up with Mitchell. Now, of course, Phoebe is undoubtedly pissed and, of course, can't resist making a comment to Maddie about her decision at the fire pit. She was like, Mitch is still my boy. Sorry. You know, and she said that in front of everybody else. Only time is going to tell if Mitchell and Maddie can actually hit it off or if his heart is truly belonging with Phoebe. But guess who's coming to the villa? Look like a crossover. Tomorrow night, a very special and very familiar face will enter the villa. The boys should definitely be worried about me coming in. Mr. Studio Girl has entered the villa. So, for all of my Married at First Sight Australia fans that have been watching my channel, especially early 2022, we all know who this is. This is Al Perkins. He was married in the Mavs experiment to Samantha, and we all know that that did not go well. Well, he is coming to Love Island, Australia, which I think that's a better fit for him anyway, especially his age. I think he's only like 25, 26. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how that crossover works out. And so we got to stay tuned. Okay, so let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think Jessica is doing a little bit too much and being hypocritical when it comes to Connor? What do you think about the, the situation with Phoebe and Mitchell and whether he's going to build a connection with Maddie or if Phoebe is his true connection? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.